Okay, this is day four, eating on the starch solution, and um, took a trip tonight, unexpected. Gary went on Facebook Marketplace, and he found a acetylene cutting torch that he wanted to buy, and it was like two hours away. So at dinner time, we got in the car and took a trip, and I packed really quickly because it was like we were, it was on again, off again. I packed, I unpacked, I packed. And I took, uh, I had made some like Mexican beans and corn and rice and peppers and whatnot. And I took some of that. I took some of my fat-free hummus and some of my flax, fat-free flax crackers. I took a BAI. And um, just when we were taking off, Gary says, well, I'm going to get a coffee. And I got some chai. And it's, I got it at the local gas station, and it's not creamy. It's not sweet. So I took that, and I drank that. And um, when I got up this morning, I juiced four oranges, and that was my breakfast because I have all these oranges left over from my juice fast, and I hate to waste oranges. And that was good. That's all I had. And then I had some green tea, and then I made the Mexican dish. And when I... Later it out onto my plate, I remembered to put a small portion on my plate. So that's why I had the leftovers for dinner. So that was good. And I did my yoga and I did Roberta's. And I did the Roberta's uh, gym exercise on YouTube that focused on thighs. And I think I'm going to try to alternate between thighs, arms, stomach, and like just go through that rotation. And my weight was good this morning. I had done an internal cleanse last night, which worked out very well. It was necessary. Uh, I try to do at least one after, if I'm doing a 10-day juice fast, every 10 days, you know, it helps to get everything all cleansed. And um, I came in at 127, which is what I was at the end of the juice fast. And when I was um, driving with Gary, I felt like I wasn't hungry. I was satisfied. I would just nibble a little bit on, take a few bites of the Mexican dish, take a few bites of the um, flax crackers. And um, Gary got a shortbread with his coffee when he, he struck out. And Gary also has the ability to go long periods of time without eating. He has a different type of physiology than I have. And um, anyway, it was. I felt like I turned a corner like... I had listened to a video about um, addiction, like foods that are addictive, and once you get completely away from them, your body is not giving you those messages anymore, and that's what I felt like tonight. I felt like I had gotten away from all the trigger foods, including flour, you know, and um, coarse sugar, and, um, you know, just a host of other trigger foods. And I was just eating on the right side of the fence. And I just felt like just eating. I'm just eating for hunger now. Like just eating to satiate society. Satiation. And um, yeah. So I felt like I made up just a truckload of progress. And um, I do have a goal. It's my goal. And um, I don't see why I, I won't be able to... Um, achieve it. And I often think of David Goggins and his goals and how outlandish they are. You know, they're really over the top, a lot of them. But really, you know, it's just his goals and he's, you know, he seems to be pretty happy. So anyway, that's it. That's my day four eating on the starch solution wrap up.